Wow, what an evening. Um, every year I am so moved by hearing the clever and increasingly aspirational innovations in sustainable energy from our winners. These winners that we've heard about tonight are pioneers of our time, such important people. So as we approach the end of the ceremony and before we head off to celebrate their success, I'd like to leave you with just a few thoughts to take away. Tonight we have seen four game-changing trends that I believe will have a big impact on the growth of sustainable energy in the next five years. The first is affordable solar power. The price of solar is coming down rapidly. In some parts of the world, it is now the cheapest source of electric power. It's an exciting time with huge implications for where our power will come from in the future. But for those millions of poor people around the world who don't have access to electricity, the solar price reduction is even more significant. Combine, combine this with the clever innovation of mobile money that we've heard about this evening, it means that for the first time, off-grid homes have access to really affordable and reliable electricity with no need for loans nor upfront cash. With light at night after dark, um, homework and seeing friends and family is, is possible. And with power for connecting to the wider world through mobile phones and TVs and radios, people can leap out of the dark ages and into the 21st century. The, the potential for this to spread across rural Africa and Asia is huge. The second exciting trend is energy efficient buildings. Buildings that require less energy to warm, to cool and to light. Infosys is a shining exemplar that clearly demonstrates energy efficient buildings make complete business sense. In fact, with the energy savings that they are achieving, surely it's close to business negligence not to be energy efficient. With the rapid growth of towns and cities across the world, it's vital that these lessons are learnt, and learnt fast, to curb rising energy consumption and carbon emissions. Moving closer to home, and to a very different subject, CSE's work also shows that by making homes energy efficient, we can lift millions of people out of the misery of fuel poverty, so they don't need to have to choose between eating or heating. Energy efficiency is a no-brainer, with huge social and huge economic benefits. And the third of these three trends is engaging people and communities in the energy that they use. We've seen the impact tonight that people are having in saving energy in schools and hospitals through simple behavior changes, or in reducing pollution by using different travel options, or increasing renewable energy installations by taking ownership of their power or investing their money where they can see the benefits it brings. Engaging people is vital for creating change in this area. So these are exciting times, and it feels like we are on a cusp of real change now. Affordable solar energy, energy efficient buildings, and engaging people with the energy are absolutely essential and crucial to the expansion of sustainable energy and a low carbon world. All our winners have a huge potential to expand their work, and after tonight, Ashton will work with them to help them on their journey, to help scale, scale them up and to make their impact with policymakers and others as effective as possible. But we cannot have help, we cannot help them without you and you, the wonderful funders and supporters that we have here tonight. As I said, at the beginning, it's an amazing time to be involved in the world of sustainable energy, and with your help, we can make full use of that potential. If you are able to, please think about extending the support you give. It really can make a, a real difference and help us ride the crest of a wave to that that, that that is sustainable energy. Some of you have spotted that at the beginning, I said I mentioned four game changers but I've only talked about three. There's a final game changer thought that I want to leave with you. For years, Ashton has been aware of the damaging impact lack of clean energy has on women in the developing world. They are the ones that take the burden of the household tasks, such as collecting wood, cooking, and looking after the home. Lack of clean energy impacts on their health, their educational opportunities, and livelihoods. 
The World Health Organization recently estimated that 4.3 million people die prematurely each year from indoor air pollution, much of which is caused by smoky inefficient stoves and kerosene lanterns. To put that in context, that is twice as many people that die from malaria and HIV AIDS combined. Women and children are the worst affected as they are the ones that spend the longest in the smoky homes. I'm delighted, therefore, that at the conference we ran two days ago to highlight the benefits of energy for women and girls, there was clear consensus that energy needs to be pushed up the agenda as both a development issue and a gender issue. We hope that our social media campaign, Vaults for Women, run on the same day as the conference to raise awareness of the issue, which had a reach of over 800,000 people, will, continue on, will, will cont contribute to that push. With enthusiastic tweeting from DFID, UN Foundation, Oxfam and Christian Aid, amongst many, many others, it seems we were not alone. And finally, I'm delighted that this year we have an inspirational woman running one of the most successful clean cook stove companies that Ashton has ever rewarded. So the final game changer could be women for women. Watch this space. Thank you.